What's going on YouTube? It's Adam from Beyond the Grid. Welcome back to my channel. Unless you guys are new to this channel, then welcome to my channel. So in this video, we're going to be doing that famous orange and teal look that everybody's after. So stick around and I'll show you guys how to do it in Lightroom. But if you close your eyes... So this one's actually pretty easy to achieve and if you guys want to pick up the preset, I'm going to leave it for free in the link description below. But in this one, we're going to be turning a photo like this into something like this. So I was going to show you guys kind of what that orange and teal looks all about. So let's jump into Lightroom and let's hammer this one out. So a lot of the basics are going to be edited based on your photo. So this one here, I'm going to warm it up a little bit. And because I'm going for the orange and teal look, I want to add a little bit of the pink in there. Then exposure, I'm going to leave. Contrast, I'm going to bring that up a little bit. And again, that's based on photos. Highlights, we want to get rid of those, really bring back a lot. And then shadows, I'm going to raise those, let's say about plus 60-ish. Whites, we're going to get those to come back a little bit. So let's say plus 30. Shadows, we're going to drop those. Clarity, I'm going to raise that just a little bit. And let's bring a little bit of vibrancy back. So with the tone curve, I'm going to do five points here. So two at the top, one in the middle, and two at the bottom. Not really adjusting much of the middle ones, but I'm going to bring up the shadows a little bit. And then I'm going to drop your highlights a little bit. So in the HSLs, is really you're really going to define that orange and teal look. So we're going to raise the reds, bring those into the orange a little bit. Oranges we're going to bring to the yellows, and then yellows we're going to bring to the oranges. It sounds a little counterproductive, but it works out in the end, guys. Trust me. So your aquas, we're going to bring those right up to blue, and then blues, again, down to aquas. It's all about a fine balance. So then you're going to bring down the saturation a little bit down on the orange, and then aquas we're going to bring up, and blues we're going to bring up. And then luminancy, this is what we're going to bring back a little bit. So we're going to go to aquas and bring those up. And your blues bring those down just a hair. And then your highs, you're going to bring those mm, not too, too much, let's say, right about there. And then bring those into the orange. And you know what? Let's leave the shadows where they are. We're going to skip over all the sharpening and lens corrections. You guys can add those if you want. And we're going to come down. Actually, you know what? Let's add a little bit of vignette on this one. Just a tiny one, let's say right about there. Then we're going to come over to calibration and then we're going to bring back a lot of the greens into this because greens will get translated to aquas. So we're going to bring back our reds, bring those into the orange, saturation up. Greens, we're going to bring those, let's say about plus seven, saturation up quite a bit here. That right there. And then aquas, we're going to bring those right down. All right, so that looks good, but let's add a quick gradient filter because that sky's a little bit blown out right about here. And let's see if we can actually pull back some of that detail and see if we can make that sky pop a little bit. So we're going to come up to the menu, click on the gradient drop, pull that down and move it and then tilt it a little bit so it keeps on that horizon just over the mountains. Then we're going to cool it down a little bit to add a little bit more aquas in there. Exposure, we're going to bring that down. And then contrast, we're going to bring that up. Highlights, we're going to drop those right down. Clarity, we're going to bring up and saturation we're going to drop just because I don't want your eyes to draw to that I want your eyes to draw to the people on the boat so here's what it looks like before and after and there you guys go an easy way to create that orange and teal look that everybody uses in their traveling videos and traveling photography so if you guys want to pick up this preset I'm actually going to give it away check the link in the description below and if you guys want to enter to win my moody collection I'm also giving those away in a contest also check the link in the description and as usual if you guys found anything helpful in this video at all make sure you're hitting that like button if you guys are not a subscriber, I mean, why aren't you? Hit that subscribe button so you guys can stay tuned for any of these future videos that I do. And as usual, until the next video, take care, everybody.